Well, next. My name is Ben Broad. I got a story to tell. Are you ready to come on and listen well? Many years ago, there lived a paladin. He was pissed of the alliance when the story begins. This ain't a happy story. It's a little dark. This ain't no summer day. This ain't no walk in the park. You see, this prince's name was Arthas, a.k.a. the Lich King. This is the story of how he became him. It all started with the mysterious plague. Only vague reports were all the alliance scouts gave. The king said Arthas to go check out the rumor. And he met up with his college buddy, Jaina Proudmura. Arthas and Jaina, yo, they were on the case. They found some crates filled with rain that were poison lace. Suspicious. They looked about as something moved in the forest. Shadows emerged and Arthas yelled, They're coming right for us. That's when Scourge Captain Vince scrapped Arthas scrapped jumped into act, quickly got sacked, the front and ghouls in his back. Arthas looked up and through the battle, saw a necromancer shadow. But what's got this on? Arthas gave him a nod. And then he swept the ghouls away and fought his way to KT. And plus, a necromancer straight spare in the teeth. KT said, Seek Malganus where he makes his home. He controls the scourge from the city of Strap home. Those were the last words Kelthazan said. Arthas killed that necromancer with the blow to the head. And said, Jaina, I demand that you follow the silver hand. And Uther will command them and we will put the damn them. And Jaina said, Yo, 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 okay, I'll go. I will go find Uther and I'll tell him what I know, yo. And she teleported away. There wasn't much else to say. They had to stop the plague and they were coming this way. Arthas, where did this go wrong? Why did you turn to darkness? Arthas, where did this go wrong? Why did you turn to Darkness. Right then he arrived at Heartland, looked down, saw plague drain on the ground again. Arthas took a deep breath, then turned around. He was surrounded by the entire town. Wait a second, said Arthas, filling with dread. This plague doesn't just kill, it turns you into undead. The prince's stomach began to churn, and that second downslope the began to turn. Twelve hours later, Arthas barely alive. His royal bodyguards, well, they didn't survive. The undead had him on the ropes, all out of hope. Guess who showed up then? You better check your notes. It was Uther, Arthas Tutor, an incredible maneuver. Should have come soon, now he saved the day. But poor Arthas would never be the same. Something clicked in his brain, and they heard him exclaim, Strap home. Malganus is there, he will pay for what he did today. I swear it, and he left, still covered in ticker, in the strap hole, all alone. And here is the kicker. A deepest line on the streets, the plague had been released. Pretty soon the city would be an undead army of beasts. Arthas knew we couldn't let them be scourge. Turned around and shouted, listen to my word. There is only one way to emerge as victors. Search into the city and purge the villagers. Uther said, are you serious? Your father would be furious. You can't possibly consider this. There must be some other way. Arthas said, not today. There is no other way to save this town. You betray the crown. Uther said, fine then, do it alone. I'm taking my army home. Arthas started killing people in the night. They were sleeping in he would kill him on sight, better to kill him now before they turn to undead. So he burned the town down till the sky turned red. Then he found now Gannis in the wreckage. He was just seconds reckoned. And when he said, Wait, I have a message. Do you think you can get the best of me? Then come to Northland, Arthas. I'll kill your best of me. Arthas, where did this go wrong? Why did you turn to darkness? Arthas, where did this go wrong? Why did you turn to darkness? Yeah. He went up to Northland. He would chase now Gannis and do anything to avenge the death of his people, including doing things that sound a little evil, or at least are a little illegal. But he kept the Northland didn't go very well. His army kept getting beaten. His soldiers fell. It was bleak. They'd only been there for a week, but they were close to defeat. Arthas was willing to cheat. There was a rumor of a sword full of ultimate power, but the inscription said that it would devour the soul of any that touched it. It was called Frostborn. Arthas tracked it down anyway, because he'd sworn to kill the It was worth any risk, including this. So he lifted his fist and gave the sword a twist. It came out of the altar. Arthas did not falter. He ran back to his army with the undead all were. Arthas tore through the undead forces straight to Malganis. Of course, the dreadwood laughed. You think you're winning? When you picked up that sword, you became a part of the lich. And Arthas knew it was true. He was doomed. Through and through. I've damned everyone and everything I've ever loved, and I still feel no remorse. A lot happened after that. He killed his father, but I'm just not gonna bother to wrap the rest. I guess I gotta tell you one last thing. He found the crown of the Lich King, put it on his head, and now it's time to see. Arthas, where did this go wrong? Why did you turn to darkness? Arthas, where did this go wrong? Why did you turn to darkness?